Welcome back, everybody, to part four of the Chosokabe campaign. Anyway, as you can all see, we just successfully took over all of Shikoku and unified it under the... One sec, my back. Ah, man. The demon worshipping Chosokabe. So, they, don't, they didn't really worship demons historically. I'm just saying that because I do. So I kind of like to imagine my people do the same thing in a weird way. Okay, got a problem? Not really. Anyway, so, you know, we gotta repair the city so it's, you know, not smoking and everybody can see it's smoking from a mile away. People on the mainland right now are probably looking over here like, what the fuck is going on over there? So, you know, we can't let them know we're coming. So, you know, first things first, we require to capture a place called Zetsu. Just moving, this small ship carries archers. Yeah, it's just a Bokoboya. But anyway, we need to capture Zetsu in order to uh, win this game. And Zetsu's right next to Yashikaka Shogunate. You know? So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over there and take Zetsu. Once we're done taking Zetsu, we'll have ourselves a nice little foothold in the mainland, and we'll also be right next to Yashikaga, so we can trade and alliance with them. And since we'll be allied with them, nobody will really fuck with us. Well, actually, people do fuck with you still. Don't listen to me when I say that. They will fuck you over, I swear. They will fuck you over. So anyway, back to the game. Now, basically, we're just gonna build, build ourselves up a big ol' army. You know, I don't think I can really afford samurai at this time. So I'm just gonna make myself a nice little Ashigaru army. You know, simple build, just Ashigaru, bow, I mean bow Ashigaru and Yari Ashigaru. And then once I get a decent amount of them, I'm just gonna stick them into my big ass army. Put them on a boat, send them right across the, you know, ocean. It's not really an ocean, well it is an ocean. But you get the idea, it's not that big of a body of water. Just send them across, make them land in Zetsu, take over Zetsu, kill everybody inside, sacrifice them, and whoever controls Zetsu, which I believe is, uh, I, I don't remember who controls Zetsu, actually. But anyway, whoever I go to war with over Zetsu, I'm just gonna have to kill them off and take their territories, and have myself a nice little empire on the mainland, you know? So yeah, as you can see here, that's, we go through the whole thing, you know, woohoo, look at everybody's faction. Uh, we could enlist some guy, you know, we could get a new general, but, you know, nah, we don't need a new general. So yeah, we're gonna go over here, get ourselves a nice little fleet, so. You know, just in case we get attacked, our whole army isn't lost. That would really suck if that happened. It's so fun to do the enemies, though. They have, like, all these elite units on a boat, and you just end up destroying it. Oh, man. You should see the look on people's face. faces. It just pisses them off. Anyway. Now that we got this whole recruit thing going on. Oda, Hojo... Mori, Takeda, Yusagi, Ikoiki, Ito, Shoni, Amako. You get the idea. Anyway, I'm not going to go on with all the clans, but yeah. There's actually a mod that allows you to play as those minor clans, and I'm thinking about downloading it and actually making a playthrough of it. I do you know? Feel for writing down. We got ourselves some light cavalry, and you know, heralding the spring. Do 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 do. Huh. I could be a douchebag, or I could be a good guy. I'll be a douchebag, I think. <laughs> Who knows? I don't even care. Which one did I click anyway? Oh well. So as you can see, it's spring. But yeah, now that's that's over. That was kind of a stupid cutscene in all honesty. But you know, nobody's complaining. I ain't complaining either. 
so, you know, we're just gonna have to get ourselves a big ass army. We're gonna put them on the boat here. We're also gonna put my Metsuke on the boat so he can do his job in the mainland because there's no reason to really be here anymore. By the way, the AI does attack your island, so don't think that you're safe. So be sure to, you know, fortify this shit so that you don't get killed or anything. It's not really fun, trust me. Unless you enjoy being, like, destroyed while you can't defend your cities or something, but whatever. But, you know, be sure you defend Shikoku. Because the enemy will do raids. It's happened to me more than once. Oh, non-ben trade. Yeah, I'll set the trade. Strangers have come to our shores. They bring weapons of smoke and fire. Weapons that kill without honor, without skill. But even so, these foreigners and their guns could give a man power and victory. And victory wipes away dishonor. And victory also appeases my demon lord. Oh man, you gotta love guns, don't you? Once we get enough guns, we're just gonna light everybody up and kill them. Like, <laughs> None of you heard a damn thing, you hear me? Oh well, that's what I want to tell myself. So anyway, it seems like we're going to war with the best show. So yeah, fuck off, best show. You should have went to war and helped your ally, but nope. You're fucked yourself over now, buddy. You really fucked yourself over. So as you can see here, you know, we're just gonna... Welcome. I'm here to listen. We want an alliance to with uh, the outcome oh, Chicago, but they don't want to set. So, you know, we're gonna arrange a marriage. You know, I'm gonna marry off one of my princesses to him, and that's gonna increase our relationships a bit. And then I'm gonna ask for an alliance. Welcome, indeed, my honorable friend. Huh? Seems like they don't want an alliance. That's weird. Oh, oh, I forgot. Maybe I'll ask him for a trade. That should definitely get me something. My foot in the door with a relationship thing for him. Since I married off my princess to him. <laughs> Would be kind of cool if your faction actually got some sort of bonus for having the princess who gave birth to the shogun's heir. That'd be kind of badass. But kind of pointless at the same time, you know. But oh well. So we're just gonna attack the city here. Take Zetsu. Kill everybody inside, you know. Do our thing. Decisive victory. Oh, the best show have been doing some work, it seems. They took Tamba, eliminated the Hatano. And, uh, what else should we do? I'm trying to think here. They have some sort of agent inside. I think it's a Metsuke. Huh. God damn, dude. I'm trying to, like... Uh. Oh, yeah, before I forget. Hey, Ashikaga. You wanna... Welcome indeed, my honorable friend. Want a trade agreement? Oh. We should discuss wow. matters of yeah, that mutual works. interest. That's exactly so that what I wanted in the first place anyway. There is much wisdom. So now we got us a military and alliance and a trade rights with the Ashikaga. So now the Ashikaga like us. Everything's going good. Hmm. Oh well, yeah, the Matsuda. And then there's uh Where the hell are the mats of anyway? Uh, not really much to talk about right now, actually. But anyway, all the hot Kuyama. I'm here to listen. Nah, to I'm not gonna get into a relationship with them. I think I might just take that little city of theirs. Well, actually, they have two cities. They have Ki, or Ki, yeah, Ki, and this one city, Kawachi. Anyway, this part's almost over. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next part.